How's it going? Ryan here. And today, I did not take any trades on SPY. However, I'll go over the one trade that I sort of missed off the open. Um, before we dive into that, though, we're on the daily time frame here. We have a few levels charted. We have 440 to the downside, 442. We have this 442.74, which is a swing low at the bottom of this candle here. Uh, as you can see, we had a, a sell off. We made a series of higher highs and higher lows. Then we made a lower high and we're coming down and we're really testing that lower low here. Um, if we break that, obviously we could see a downtrend from here, maybe, you know, a retest of this swing low or this swing low. But we haven't done that yet. We're kind of holding on right at that level. Um, some of these other areas are demand, supply and demand zones marked off 30 minute and 15 minute charts. Um, so we'll dive into those. So from the top, we have this swing high here, uh, supply zone. We also have this supply zone here. We'll zoom in so we can get better understanding of it. Um, just been a high for multiple times, uh, multiple days. And it's a recent area that we rejected from in that big sell off. We also have this zone here that is acted as support and resistance, um, support multiple times throughout here. And uh, two days ago, once we broke below it, came up, tested that zone as resistance, and sold off. We have this zone right here, which is that bottom of two days ago, bottom of yesterday, as well as the bottom from however many days ago this was. Uh, I'm not sure what date that is exactly, but you can see that it was the bottom of that day, this day, and this day. Um, we sold through it pretty much in the pre-market and in the opening minutes but we'll jump into that in a second and then for the final zone we have this area in here uh, between 441 and 441.2 just resistance support once we broke above it uh, and it was an area that we hadn't tested yet again once we got above it um, yeah then we have the pre-market high in this yellow level we have the high of yesterday's trading session in the green we have the low of yesterday's trading session in the red and those are all the levels that we were watching there when we jump into today's chart on the five minute a trade off of the five minute chart we came up set this high in the pre-market and then kind of sold off into this level uh pretty much yesterday's close or excuse me not close the yesterday's low of day right around that uh support level uh that swing low on the daily time frame and that demand zone that we had uh, as the bottom of a few days of trading. So the trade that I missed here is this bear flag right off the open. You can see that we sold off in the pre-market. We flagged up and then we broke through this zone. We broke through that support. We broke through yesterday's low of day uh, and made our, all of what, made our move all the way down and then started to flag again. <laughs> Broke out of that, came down through this zone, pretty much bounced off that 440 level, um, 439.93, but bounced off this, reclaimed that zone, reclaimed that 442 level, came up, tested this area, pretty much the high of day, and sold off. So <clears throat> you can see how price reacted. I missed this move off the open. Um, we were kind of chopping around in this zone. I didn't want to take any trades just because we were having slow volume, slow price action, kind of grind our way higher. And I just, to be honest, I didn't recognize this as a bear flag. Uh, I was waiting for a definitive move in either way, which we did get, uh, but I did not get in at any point here. Um, and then I ended my day somewhere around here, um, around 8.30. So I missed this flag break as well. So. I missed the good moves on the day. Um, there's quite a few, even the bounce and bounce up into this zone would have been a decent trade. Uh, this hammer within this zone would have been a decent trade up to this level. Um, it moved pretty much level to level today. So there were some opportunities for sure. I just missed this. I, I, did, I wasn't recognizing it as a flag in the moment and I just missed out on it, but that was a great trade. We got the breakout. We got the retest of that support on the daily time frame. Um, and then the breakdown 
And then this flag, if you saw this happen, you should have recognized this as well because uh, it's pretty much the same play all over again. But it's good to see good to see the zones playing out, the levels playing out as expected in terms of price moving to and from them. Um, even when we first reach this zone, which should act as demand uh, on our come down and test of that, we rallied up. Um, obviously not a reversal, but... That demand zone held as demand until we sold through it and then acted as resistance once we tested it a few times before fully coming down and testing the next level. Um, acted as demand once we got up into it and then held that level. Um, rallied from there. It's also around that 441 whole number, which is typically come into play as you can see these 442 and 440 levels are whole numbers and kind of how that those worked. But that was the day. Um, that was a great trade out of the open. That flag break, uh, a little retest of that support. That's beautiful. Did not get in on that. Um, but I did take no trades, so there was no risk for me today. I kind of sat and watched. Um, so neutral, but what can you do? Just learn from it. Uh, learn to identify these things so next time you can take the, the opportunity to get in. But uh that's all for today. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. I trade live every Monday through Friday. So if you feel so inclined, stop by and say what up. I hope you have a great day. Peace.